Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's your master of the moving averages, Ricky Cadden from Real Life Trading Australia. I trust you're doing absolutely amazing. Uh, beautiful, beautiful day today here in Brisbane, sunny Brisbane. Um, but enough about the weather, let's talk stocks. SPY last night, nice little inside day candle. Yesterday, we did form a new all time high and it was a retest gap, as you can see. So, I mean, this was a gap, this, this gap is, is quite significant because it was also a gap on the weekly chart and also a gap on the monthly chart. Um, so if I go back to the daily, the last time this occurred was back here. We didn't, we didn't gap up to new all time highs, but we did gap up quite significant and over 1% and we ran for a whole month. So, I mean, from here guys, most likely we will come back down to fill this gap at some stage. I don't know when that's going to be, but keep your eyes open for a quick bullish run here. I do expect this to be this little dip to be short lived and then we will start to see some higher highs and bring on 300, the SPY. I am absolutely excited. So SPY going bullish. Here's the Dow Jones, the DIA. I uh, haven't quite hit new all time highs yet, but we will definitely get there most likely this week. And the Q's, cute little inside day candle, all in all, still bullish. This was a gap and go the other day, which we didn't gap and go. However, this will definitely continue. So keep your eyes on the, on the markets. Just be bullish. Here's Square, currently in a swing trade on Square. Uh, beautiful dip buying opportunity right here. A couple of real life traders got in on that one. But once we break 74, guys, SQ is going back up to 80. And then we'll see a little bit of choppiness and then probably continue higher from there. So Square, looking beautiful, looking amazing. Uh, great little trade on Square. Another one to look forward to is Netflix. Now, if I just bring up the short term moving averages, this was, we spoke about this last week, this nice double bottom and beautiful break and retest. Right there was your time to get in bullish um, on a trade. We have just had all the, the 10, the 20 and the 50 EMAs crossover. Uh, so from here, guys, be bullish on Netflix. Keep buying those dips. If you have a look at the hourly, um, Pretty much just buying off this 50 is going to be a nice location. We have bounced off here before and it seems like a good buying opportunity. So once we start to break out of these highs here, we will have a little bit of resistance at 382, but realistically we will break out and we will trade higher. So Netflix looking awesome. Keep staying bullish. There are a few... Uh, there are a few nice dip buying opportunities out there at the moment. Here's Uber. Got to love Uber. So we did break out of this, this high here, trapped a whole bunch of bullish, uh, trapped a whole bunch of bulls up here and um, they didn't buy the retest, but this guys is the retest. Now we have bounced off the 20 EMA before and I do expect us to bounce off this again. So keep your eyes on Uber for a small, like probably another inside day candle here. Um, and then a nice, a nice, a nice little dip buying opportunity, a nice little breakout above this candle. So keep your eyes on Uber over the next couple of days. It's going to be looking to go higher. Here's their rivalry Lyft. Now Lyft not doing so great at this, at this point in time. There was this nice little bullish move. Um, but from here, I have a look at the weekly just quickly. It doesn't look super bullish because that is that is an almost a perfect Marabozu candle on the weekly on the weekly chart. And there's gonna be a few bulls trapped. So 
keep your eyes on a dip buying opportunity on lift over the next coming weeks. Um, we are coming back into their earnings over in August. So most likely if we come back down to 55, this would be a nice level to start legging into a trade. Um, any lower will just, you know, kind of pyramid into that trade, increase our position size as we see fit. Here's AMD. Nice little gap down and a fade today. Overall markets, guys, just looking looking bullish. So keep buying the dips. This was a beautiful dip buying opportunity back last week. Um, straight off the 50. Hasn't happened before ever. No one's ever seen this happen before. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Be bullish on AMD. Great company, doing great things. And most likely, we will start to see some new highs. We are still going to find a little bit of resistance up here as we have had some before. Um, but once we break out, just keep buying the dips. If we break out, don't buy the breakout, buy the retests. Be a super smart trader. Uh, I'm in a swing trade on WWE, World Wrestling Entertainment. Um, on the weekly chart, we're down at the 50 EMA. The long-term moving averages back on the daily. Uh, we're, we're slightly below, but we are forming this nice little double bottom pattern. So I actually got into a swing trade on this cute little candle right here with a stop down here. Um, but WWE looks great for a little short term, short term swing trade. If you're looking for one, um, I am looking to take this to these moving averages and then I will obviously look to lock in some gains on that one. But WWE, beautiful, beautiful double bottom. We did get some amazing volume three days ago, which is the reason for the trade. Um, so WWE looking really, really great. Here's Beyond Meat. I'm actually currently in puts. Got on to puts this day right here. So they're only for this week, so I will be closing them out shortly. Um, pretty much as soon as we had this nice little retest gap last week and this bearish candle came in right here, I was like, okay, we're going to come down and retest. So I was looking for a little quick little short little scalp on Beyond Meat. And um, yeah, let's hope she plummets. But if not, I'm still going to be locking in again on Beyond Meat. Here's Shopify. Now, we spoke about this last week. Um, we almost came down to the 50. And I mean, guys, we are getting up there. I did say that most likely we are going to chop around here for a while. And I still do expect that to happen. Um, because this is a one, two, three, four, five. So I'm from here, I'm not buying up here. You can be you can look to you know buy the lows and sell the highs if you're if you're wanting to. Personally, I'm a long-term bull on Shopify. Um, if we do get a gap down over earnings, you know, to the 50 or or maybe even lower, then I'll definitely look at buying. Um, obviously assess that to see how many bulls are trapped um, just before that, before that happens or before that gap occurs. But definitely keep your eyes on Shopify. If you're not in, I mean, you just want to keep buying these dips. There was a great opportunity here, straight off the 20, off the 20, off the 20, off the 10, off the 20. Like this thing is just an absolute machine. So Shopify, currently not in long. Um, if I just measure this move here quickly, we are from this last move from two weeks ago, we are about 50% retraced from here. So if we do start to kind of curve here, I'd expect us to get another quick little dip, but with the market going bullish, I mean, we could still continue higher. So, I mean, like I said, just keep buying the dips. Don't be looking to short this thing and picking the top. Try not to be a hero. Um, be long Shopify. <laughs> Here's NTAP. Uh, now, this ceiling is just about to be broke. Um, so uh, we are creating some higher, some some higher lows here, and we are just battling against this resistance here at 62, 63.96. Uh, sorry, 62.96 or 63. 
Um, so we will break out of this level here, definitely. And when we do, we are going to fill this gap and most likely trade back higher. So NTAP um, looking really, really nice for a long. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled on that one. Here's IQ. We called it, guys, back here. If you take a look, listen to my last reviews or a review back here, I did say that this is most likely going to be the bottom on IQ. So if you took that information and went long or bought some call options and made, and made money, then that is absolutely amazing. Um, awesome run. We did run up over 10%. How, how big was that run? That was last week. We did, oh, wow, almost 20. We came up almost 20% here. So from here, as these moving averages come in, I will be looking to buy the dip because IQ doing great things for the Netflix of China. Let's take a look at the Aussie markets now. Here's the All Lords. And here it is, guys. We are so close to hitting all time highs again, and we are going to get there. Man, I'm excited. Um, it's gonna be crazy to see what goes on in the, in, the, in the media, see what they have to say, but pretty much we, we are going to continue higher. Last week, we actually, no, this week, we did get, the RBA did lower interest rates to 1%, which is going to help a lot of the businesses um, and the markets will stay bullish. But this, I did say back here, guys, that, you know, most likely we could definitely go higher from here. So be bullish. Don't call the tops. All odds going higher. APT reported earnings last week. Massive, massive bearish move as they did miss on their sales. Um, however, this beautiful gap down that they had the following day. If you just take a look here, it came straight to the 100 on the daily. So beautiful bounce, beautiful bounce the last three days. Um, getting a little bit of weakness. A lot of people obviously locking in some profits right here. But um, most likely, guys, we are going to consolidate here for a little while. We have come, we have moved a fair bit, you know, back, back since the start of the year. We have already moved, you know, 140%. So a lot of people profitable on APT and most likely we will just kind of consolidate and chop around here for a little while. So APT looking really good. Just keep buying the lows and selling the highs. Here's an IPO that hasn't been spoke about much. UWL, Unity Wireless Limited. Can't say I know much about the company, but the trend looks amazing. Now we did get, we are currently in a one, two, three, four. We are in our wave five and we are getting a little bit weak. Obviously there's a lot of people profitable, especially these guys down here that bought at 20 cents and it's currently now, at, you know, almost two bucks. So huge move, huge move on Unity Wireless. Um, so from here guys, if I bring up the short-term moving averages, right here is where I'd be looking at buying off the 50, okay? Um, that's probably the next target. Yeah, definitely the next target. That should coincide with the 382. Uh, yeah, the 382 on the Fibonacci. So as we come, as the stock comes down, we should start to move higher and this will be a dip buying opportunity on UWL. But if you're not, if you haven't, if you're in UWL, just probably be one to lock in profits. This is a double top. Um, and we, I mean, we could still go higher, but personally, I don't want to be the guy buying at the top. And especially when there's a bearish, bearish topping pattern um, forming it at this current moment. So um, if we do close below here, just look to obviously buy the dip. So UWL looking really, really nice. Here's WTC and WTC is just staying bullish. We are going to consolidate here for a while, guys. Um, and this is another one which we're struggling to get above, 
above these levels up here at 29.52. We are getting some selling right here. So most likely we will come down. If we come back down to the 50 at 25, I'll be looking to buy. Um, but this is just an absolute glorious trend. If you're not in WTC already, um, just keep looking to buy the dips. The 50 is a beautiful place to get into some sort of position. So keep your eyes on WTC. Here's JB Hi-Fi, my favorite store to go and visit. Um, looking actually quite bullish. So if I bring up the long-term moving averages just quickly, we have crossed over with the 100 and the 200. Okay, and we are in a one, two, three, four, five, and this is the ABC pattern. So if you can buy, um, if you can buy, because if we, if we zoom in right here, this is a nice little double bottom and we are retesting today. So if you can buy probably on a retest at about 25, maybe $26, uh, that would be a nice, if you've missed this move already, Probably around $26 is a good buying opportunity with a stop below here. That'd be a great setup um, and, you know, take two to three R. But like I said, guys, market's looking bullish. Be long. Here's Woolworths. Now, Woolworths, I spoke about Woolworths back here saying this is a great time to buy. I hope a lot of you guys got a chance to get in on Woolworths bullish. Um, beautiful dip buying opportunity straight off this high right here. So Woolworths looking strong. If I take a look at the weekly chart, yeah, beautiful trend. Just keep buying those dips, guys. Woolworths definitely looks to go higher if i was going to look at buying now i'll just take a look at the short term moving averages yeah i would wait for a pullback back down to about 33 dollars off to to buy back off this 50 like we have a few times um just because i've missed this particular this particular bounce um but if you can buy off the 50 here or off the 33.50 level right here that would be a nice level to look at going long. Let's take a look at some commodities. So US oil, here's the pullback that we spoke about last week and, oh, oops, sorry, on the daily. Now, I did say that most likely we would form some form of double topping pattern. Take a look at the hourly. And I mean, it's not a perfect double top, but we did come up, come back down, come back up and slowly roll down. There's your nice little inverted head and shoulders pattern. Um, this is probably only going to be short term. So personally, I think that if we do go lower, it's not going to be that much lower because right now we're currently at the 382. Um, if we do fall back down to about 54, which is the 618 retracement level, that would be a nice dip buying opportunity if you did get to, if you did miss out on this bullish run. Um, so US oil, I will be looking for a, a buying opportunity, long-term moving averages kind of crossing over right now. There was, we did say there was gonna be a little bit of resistance here, which we did get. So from here guys, I'm a little bit neutral just because we're at the 382 on the on the fibs, but uh, keep your eyes on US oil for a dip buying opportunity. Here's gold just struggling to get above this August 2013 resistance level. You can see it right here, um, right there. Okay, so we are struggling to get above that, but personally, guys, we're going to get above it. I think that's what's going to, I think that's what's going to happen. I'm definitely bullish on gold at the moment. Um, here was a beautiful, nice little S curve pattern. So if you did get to buy the dip right here, then well done to you fine folks. Gold looking bullish. Actually, I'll take a quick look at um, Newcrest Limited uh, NCM. See how they're traveling and they are, looking good so if you did take some profits up here um i did speak about it last week then well done and if you got back in here 
then well done. <laughs> um, but Newcrest, super bullish at the moment. I'm not buying here. I'd rather be locking in gains than buying at the top. But um, all the gold stocks, all the equities, definitely moving higher. Here's the Aussie dollar. Now, my reviews have been saying, once we come to the 100, definitely look for a short, guys. I actually missed it because I was at the gym. <laughs> um, if we take a look at the five minute, it was a beautiful setup too. It was a, it was a nice gap up. So I'll just zoom in right here. So this is where it occurred on Monday. Okay, we had this beautiful gap up, right? And just look at this nice little descending triangle that we formed here. As soon as we broke this level, we came up, retested, and then entry stop would have been absolutely amazing. But I didn't actually notice this until about here. So um, I hope a lot of you guys did get to catch that. I have been speaking about this for a while now, um, especially with the interest rates being dropped. I do expect the Aussie dollar to fall further. But that's all I've got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, markets are closed on Thursday, 4th of July in the US. So I'll be back. I'll be back on Thursday with some stock reviews, but it's only going to be the Aussie markets and the Forex markets and commodities. So if you guys do want me to review some trades or if you want me to review any equities, any stock tickers, throw it in the, throw it in the comments section below and I will check them out for you in my next review. But until next time, guys, love life, live life and trade it. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.